Hey everyone, hope you all are well. No surprise here that I'm kicking things off with an eyeshadow primer, specifically my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I'm adding a few swipes of this to the lid with the applicator and then I'm moving to the Sigma 3D HD Precision Blending Brush just to buff and blend this product into the skin. And I always reach for this brush due to its shape, that nice straight edge means that I can get that primer right up to the brow bone without disturbing the brow shape that I carved out earlier on and it fits around the eye nice and snugly and adding a primer anyway just ensures that our shadows apply and blend nice and smoothly and ensures they last all day long as well. So I'm reaching for my Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette again. I think this is possibly maybe the fifth tutorial that I've done using this palette. I wanted to do something nice and cool today anyway so I figured I'd bust this out again and the first shade I'm taking is called Laredo. This is a nice light grey, almost topish grey, and it has a matte finish to it. So I've just dipped my Coastal Sense BR250 blending brush into the pan. It's slightly powdery, but fallout wise, it's really minimal um, if you do get any at all. And texture wise, it's nice and smooth and easy to blend. So I'm adding this shadow into the crease, starting on the outer edge of the crease using little circular and windshield wiper motions to gradually pull this color all the way across the crease, right into that inner corner. As I've less product on my brush then, I'll start to use larger sweeping motions and I'll also start to raise my brush up a bit higher in the crease, aiming it up towards the brow bone as I start to fade out that shadow. I just want a really nice soft blend, so I always take a little amount of shadow up my brush at a time and really take my time working this into the skin and this clip is just in real time so it's taken me about a minute or so to get that shadow how it's looking now so now that i've got a light layer on there i'm going back in and dipping my brush back into that shadow and this time i'm patting my brush down on the outer edge of the eyelid followed by the inner half of the eyelid and I'm just leaving a spot in the center part of my eye bare because we're going to be adding a spotlight or a halo uh, look to our shadow today. So with a fluffy brush you're not going to get a really intense color payoff with the first application. If you switch to a small dense brush like this bullet shape brush from the double-ended brush that came with the Naked Cherry palette and reapply that shade straight off the bat you're going to get more of an intense finish. So the more dense the brush the more intense the shadow is going to appear. Sticking with that Laredo shade now I'm reapplying some of this down along the lower lash line with that same bullet shaped brush just sweeping this back and forth to get a nice coating of that shadow and I'm making sure to sweep it up onto the lid too on that outer edge just so everything connects up nicely I don't want any gaps on that outer edge at all. So I'm then going to take the darkest shade in the palette now, this is called Pony Up. It's a dark cool toned grey shade and it has a matte finish to it. I love combining these two shades together, the addition of Pony Up just adds a nice bit of depth to the look. So I'm panning it down now where I applied Laredo on the outer third of the lid and inner third of the eyelid, keeping in mind to leave a space bare in the centre. Now it doesn't matter if you overlap slightly because we're going to clean up that spot later on, but it just means that you've less work to do then if you're careful with your placement now. So once I've laid down the colours, I'm flipping the brush around and using the fluffy side just to soften that shade up to where it meets the crease. And this kind of brush is great for precision work. It's just precise and tapered to a point. So it allows us to be, again, quite precise with our placement. <laughs> so this look is all about layering. I'm going in now with a second helping of that pony up shade. I'm repeating the steps that I've done previously. I'm tapping the color down onto the eyelid. And this time I'm also then going to sweep it across into the crease, just so that that darkness joins up together. So I'm running back and forward with the bullet shaped end. And then I'm going to flip it around to the fluffy end, just to blend it out and soften the shade. And I'm also then going to make sure to flick upwards and outwards from that outer corner just towards the tail of the brow to help elongate the eyes and you could also go for a rounded appearance to this look too that would be nice as well and if you're doing that 
just keep running them back and forth then when you're blending i've picked up a little more of the shadow now and i'm running this down along the lash line starting from the outer corner moving across to the inner corner and back and how much you smoke the shadow out is entirely up to you if you really want to diffuse those edges you could run along them again with the taper end of the brush just run back and forth to really smoke the shadow out so to clean up the look and sharpen up that center part of the lid i'm taking the l'oreal infallible more than concealer in the shade 327 i'm using a flat synthetic c-shaped brush just to apply the concealer to the center of the lid and i swept my brush along the applicator to pick up some product and then apply to the lid as opposed to directly applying the concealer with the applicator to the lid and this was just to avoid applying too much concealer because if you add too much it can cause your shadows to crease which we absolutely don't want so once i'm happy then with how that looks i'm taking the royal and line silk pro taclon bent eyeliner brush this is a very fine point to it i have picked up a little bit of pony up and i'm sweeping it into the crease just above that concealer to make sure that we still have a nice bit of definition to that area then I'm taking the Royal and Line Nichols Silk Pro Smudger Brush and I'm adding more of the shadow in the crease now again, just building up that intensity until I get a really nice deep dark grey smoky finish. So I'm taking the brush that I started off with originally now and I'm using whatever is left of that Laredo shade on there just to run over the edges of the look to blend it in with Pony Up but also to make sure that it's that, that nice light grey can still be seen in the finished look. For the centre of the lid, I'm taking that shade Cowboy Rick. It's a lovely silvery kind of chunky shimmery shade. And because of its texture, I did spray my brush with some of the All Nighter Glow Setting Spray to limit fallout, to help the shadow to adhere better to the lid, and to also really emphasise the shimmery effect. And I just use a Blank Canvas Cosmetics E24 brush. Now I'm going in with my Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and taking the shade black out. This is just a lovely jet black and I'm using a Sigma pencil brush to lightly tap down some of this shadow on the outer corner of the eye, carefully overlapping it slightly with that silver shade and then I'm doing the exact same thing on the inner corner of the eye, fading that then towards the centre too and I'm going over and back until I'm happy with the finish. Then I'm just going to lightly buff into the crease too above that silvery shade just to marry everything together. I am reaching for an angled brush now. This one just came with the Vanity Planet Vegan Brush Set. I've picked up a little more of that blackout shade and now I'm just lining along the upper lash line just pressing that shadow right into the lashes so that I have a nice base for the false ones that I'm going to apply. It'll just help to conceal the band of the lashes. Then I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide on Eye Pencil in the shade 0. This is just a black liner, black cold pencil. And I'm running this inside the eye, closing my eye then around the pencil to coat the top and bottom waterline at the same time. I'm then going back in with that angled brush once again. I'm just placing the brush underneath the lower lashes, bringing it right up to the lash line pressing down and wriggling my brush all the way across the eye right into the tear duct and I'm also tapping this down over the top of that zero shade on the inside of the eye to set it in place and make it last all day long. I'm using some of the Kiss Blowout Lashes in Pompadour and then I'm adding a few coats of the Urban Decay Wild Greens Mascara just to blend my own lashes in with the false ones and to also coat the bottom lashes but then that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and found it helpful. If you did do let me know and I'll catch you all really soon.